Hey, today I'm going to make some dumplings by using chives, chicken, and some mushrooms for the forthcoming Chinese New Year. I'm KP Kwan. Welcome back to another episode of Taste of Asian Food. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare this dumpling. Stay tuned. Most of the Chinese dumplings are made with pork, but today I'm going to use chicken instead of pork as chicken is more universal to everyone. And I'm also using some Chinese chives in combination with the chicken and also some dried shiitake mushroom to enhance the flavor. These are the three major ingredients for the fillings besides the secondary ingredients which I'm going to mention it later. First, I need to rehydrate the dry shiitake mushroom. To speed it up, I'm using some hot water. Then I put something heavy on top so that all the mushrooms are submerged in the water. And keep it aside and now we can proceed to mince the chicken meat. I use chicken thigh meat because it contains more fat than chicken breast and it will become more tender. You may be able to get the ground chicken meat from your butcher but if not, it can be done easily at home. So I cut the chicken meat into small pieces and then transfer to a chopping board. And mince the chicken meat until it starts to disintegrate. And then transfer it to a large mixing bowl. You can use an electric food processor to do it if you are making a large batch. Next, the Chinese chives. Cut it into a short section or rough chop it. Now the mushrooms are already turned soft, so I remove it from the water, squeeze out the water and cut the mushroom into small pieces. And some more ingredients we required, ginger and green onions. One way is to finely chop these two ingredients and incorporate into the chicken meat. And the other way is to extract the flavor by soaking them in hot water. I use the second method since I also need to add some water to the chicken meat. I also crack an egg and use it to bind the chives and the chicken together. Otherwise, you can just add some cornstarch instead to bind them. Next, season the chicken meat with the following ingredients. Some salt, white pepper, sesame oil, Chinese five spice powder, and some light soy sauce. and also half of the egg. Besides that, add some oil because chicken meat is relatively less fatty than pork or beef and the, f and, uh, the oil will help to tenderize the meat. Mix the meat by stirring the meat in one direction until it starts to become sticky. Then gradually add some ginger and green onion water. And continue stirring until the meat absorbs all the water. Once the meat absorbs the water, you can continue adding more. And do the same thing. Now it has become quite soft and tender. And now I'm applying a classic Cantonese method by leave up the meat and throw it back to the bowl repeatedly. 
Now, this is the classic Cantonese method to break down the connective tissue mechanically so that the meat becomes even more tender. Lastly, combine the mushrooms and the chives together with the chicken meat. The filling for the dumplings is ready. To save time, I use the store-bought dumpling wrappers today. There are many ways to wrap the dumpling. I am using the simplest method that anyone, even kids, can do it. First, apply some water at the edge so that it will stick together. Next, get the filling and put it right at the center and then press it so that it adheres to the dumpling wrappers. Next, hold both sides together, join together this way and uh, after that pleat both sides so I'm going to pleat one two and the other side one two shape it nicely and that's the dumpling let's make another one Okay, all together I have 26 dumplings today. So I will cook this dumpling two ways. First, I will pan fry it like making the Japanese gyoza. And the second way is to just boil it in boiling water. Heat some oil in a pan, either cast iron or a non-stick pan. Then arrange the dumplings single layer on it. And make sure that they do not touch each other. Pan fry the dumplings for a short while, about half a minute. And then add some water into it. Okay, that's enough. Cover it. The steam inside is effectively steam the top part of the dumpling while the bottom part is being pan fried. Let it be this way for about 3 to 4 minutes. Then remove the lid and let the water evaporate until it becomes dry. When all the water has evaporated, now we can remove it from the pan. If you do not want to pan fry the dumplings, you can boil the dumplings in boiling water. After a while, you see the dumplings start to float to the top. Now add some cold water to bring down the heat. And wait until it boils again. When it comes to boil again, I put some more cold water to bring down the heat so that the wrappers will not overcook. And yet, it has sufficient time to cook through the chicken. When all the dumplings has rise to the top, remove it from the water. Lastly, I want to make a dipping sauce for the dumpling. Two tablespoons of black vinegar, two teaspoons of light soy sauce, and a teaspoon of sesame oil. If you want, you can also add some chili oil to make it spicy. So we have two different versions 
the pot sticker version and the simplest version by just boiling it in in hot water both are best to serve along with the dipping sauce that's how to prepare chicken dumplings with mushrooms and chinese chives and it is best to serve during special occasions such as chinese new year but of course you can make it as your everyday meal because it's not that difficult to prepare and i've included the recipe in the description below the video don't forget to subscribe tap the notification bell and give me a thumbs up and i'll see you again in some other similar video soon bye for now